What's up? What's up? Y'all, it is cold here in Florida. It's 46 degrees right now and I am freezing. I've been freezing. I get cold so easily. Um, so I'm just leaving the gym. Today was glute day for me. So I just started incorporating sumo squats again. I did it last Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, so I'm doing it again today. And I just feel it so much more, my glutes. And it's a good feeling. So yeah, now I'm starting to kind of have fun with training again. I'm getting a little bit of my energy back. So training has been fun. I'm hip thrusting heavier again. Not as much as I was before prep started, but I'm getting back up there. So it's exciting. Um, right now I'm currently training glutes slash hamstrings three times a week, shoulders twice a week, back once a week. That's what I'm doing. Um, sometimes like last week I only did glutes twice because I was really sore and I took an extra rest day. And sometimes you got to do that. You got to listen to your body. If you're really sore, take that extra rest day so you can recover and really make some gains. So yeah, it's Wednesday. Christmas is next Monday. So we have a lot of things going on. Um, tomorrow night, I think we're going to dinner with some friends and then Saturday, I think we're going to Tampa for dinner and meeting some friends. Sunday is Christmas Eve. We have Nick's family in town and we're going to his sister's and then Sunday is Christmas and we have three places to go. So going to be around a lot of different food and you know, things going on and I'm just planning to have balance. Um, without going ham, without binging, without going crazy, you know, I'm going to try a few bites of some things, but there's some things I'm also going to pass on. What I do in moments like this is if it's, I ask myself, okay, is this worth it? Do I really enjoy this food? Do I really like it? Is it something I really, really, really want to have a bite of? Or am I just trying it because it's Christmas day and I'm going to eat whatever? No, like I try to really pick and choose what's worth it to me. Um, and I get my steps in, you know, I'm going to be training all up in my normal training schedule and all that good stuff, but that's, what's been going on. And, um, yeah, I'll try to film some more if I can. Good morning guys. So it's 8 AM on a Saturday morning and I have already done cardio, fasted cardio, a leg lift, had meal one, started laundry and yeah i feel good this is what you got to do you got to get up and get shit done um let's see i'm already at 7,700 steps and yeah so today nick and i are going to tampa for the day to have like a date day hit up some rooftop bars go to one of my favorite restaurants there for dinner um so i'm excited and Maybe I'll take some footage. I, I just feel so bad because I haven't been filming as much lately. I just, honestly, I've just been in the moment living life um, and just having a good time um, and being present. And I feel like my mindset has shifted a lot since prep. Like I've just really been present with life, with my family, my friends, my husband. And I don't know, it's weird. I keep saying, I feel like a kid again or something, which is nothing against like prep and all. Like I, I love prep. I love the sport. Obviously I'm still in the gym every day. I'm still tracking most days. Um, I still do cardio every day. Um, just steps, you know, like I have a step goal I hit every day and yeah, I mean, I'm drinking my gallon of water, so I'm still doing all the things, but like I'm saying yes more to things. Um, and I'm spending more time with family and friends and I'm just loving life and I'm just having a good time. Someone put in my DMs to, or I did a little question box, my Instagram asked questions. Someone asked, do you miss prep? And it's so funny, normally I miss prep and I was thinking about it a while ago, just in the gym while I was working out, like, you know, the post-show blues and people that miss prep. And I think a lot of times people miss prep. It's not because they miss prep. Like, I mean, let's be real. Who misses grinding it out? It's starving. Not, not everybody starves in prep, but like being hungry, cardio, cardio, cardio. Like who truly misses that? I think what people miss is the structure. And the thing is, is like you can still have structure outside of prep. Like you don't have to be in prep to have structure. And a lot of people 
mask what's going on with their life with a prep. You know, if, if you notice a lot of bodybuilders, they have other issues going on deeper inside. I'm not saying everyone does, but a lot of them do. And they jump into a prep because it makes them feel good. It gives you that confidence. It has something to keep your mind sidetracked, something to work towards, a goal. That's all great. And I love it. And I, I myself have used prep for these things. But you can still have structure in your life when you're not prepping. You know, like I still get up like this morning's a Saturday. It's Christmas weekend. I still got up. I actually have my alarm set because I'm just a structured person. I got up the same time I get up every day, did my, drank my greens like I do every morning. I got on the cardio, did some fasted steps, watched my Netflix show, um, ate meal one, and then came to the gym and worked out. And I feel good. I feel me, I feel myself. This is my routine, this is my structure. And it's like, I think that's why people miss prep because they miss the structure, but you can still have structure outside of prep. All right, I'm about to get this day going. I'm excited. I got a lot of fun things to do. Um, I got my stuff done, and now I'm ready. I have a hair appointment at 10 to get my hair curled because since I got my new extensions in, i just rather have someone curl it for me. Not because I'm that, like, bougie, but, like, it's just hard for me to curl my hair when it's this long. Like, I screw it up. Let me tell you guys. Bad. It's very bad. <laughs> I'm not that good at it. So, yeah, I have my girl's curling my hair today for me and Nick's little date day, and then I'll have curls for Christmas, so... It's gonna be a good day. What's up guys? It's Christmas Eve. I just finished my lift. I did upper body. I actually mixed it up and did some shoulders and back um, because you know, tomorrow's Christmas, the gym is closed. Um, I did glutes yesterday. So yeah, feeling pretty good with my workouts. I have more energy. I'm starting to see like my shoulders fill out a little bit more, which is good. So this morning I chose to not weigh myself. Um, we went to Tampa yesterday. I didn't film anything like I had planned. I just, I don't know, I just haven't been filming much lately, but um, we had um, oysters, we had fish with sweet potatoes. We shared a sushi roll, which we both each only had like one of the roll, one piece of the roll because we didn't like it. Um, and then we got some ice cream on the way home. And I think I ate too much ice cream because my stomach is killing me today. And that's like, I just can't eat a bunch of ice cream because it always makes my stomach hurt. Um, so yeah, I my stomach is like really watery today. So I chose to not weigh myself because I just didn't want to be in a bad mindset. And I'll be honest with you, like sometimes I do struggle when the scale goes up and other times I don't. I don't know, just this week alone, I think I've put a lot of pressure on myself because of knowing it's Christmas and I'm very good at navigating the holidays, but we had so we have so many events going on and I just feel like I put all this pressure on myself that, you know, like, oh, if the scale goes up, then I can't eat anything on Christmas and you shouldn't be like that, you know? Um, <laughs> you shouldn't go all in and go ham, which I don't feel like I did. Like I, you know, yesterday I was very intentional you know, I had fish and that's what I do is like, I rather my real cheat be my dessert. And that's how I've always been drinks and dessert. Like for food, food, I am not like a pizza burger type of person. I love sushi and fish. Like I love seafood. I, you guys notice I always get ahi tuna. I've been really big into ceviche lately. Like I said, last night we had some snapper and oysters. Um, and I still get it with no butter, no oil because butter and oil makes my stomach wrecked. Um, it's been like that my whole life since I was a kid. So, yeah. So, um, anyways, I feel like I'm on a tangent right now. But, yeah. So, you know, it's, I'll be honest with you. Reversing is a struggle sometimes for me even. Like, you know, sometimes I seem like I have it all together and I'm doing so well. But it's not easy, you know. It's, it takes constant work. It takes a lot of effort. Um, and I am doing it a little different this time. Last year, I was so intentional. And I'm, I'm being intentional, but I'm also being more intuitive this year. I'm just trying to have more of an open mindset and enjoying life a little more. Um, so it's, it's different for me. And I think that's another reason why it is a little bit harder is because this is different for me. I I'm, I'm don't ever intuitive eat. I haven't been, I haven't intuitive ate in six years. So it's, it's hard for me. I'll be honest. It's hard to shut off that brain and that mindset when you've tracked and you've been so dead on for six years. 
so I'm trying to give myself some grace and that's why it's like it's okay to not weigh yourself every day you know and it's okay to just go with the flow sometimes that's what I'm trying to do right now and yeah that's what's going on sorry I'm like a hot mess I literally just I rolled out of bed I did some fasted cardio because I do that every day just to get steps in and then I went to the gym and we were getting ready to go to church so yeah I got these bags in my eyes I don't have any makeup on I'm just looking like a hot mess right now um but yeah I just just gonna give myself some grace and go with the flow here um and enjoy this holiday what's up okay so it has been a hot minute since i have been youtubing i actually have not been youtubing at all lately um i keep planning to record and then i don't i've just been living life um i have a few clips i'm gonna put in here from christmas week i don't even know what all i have yet i haven't looked at them it's probably gonna be a jumbled mess but i just wanted to come on here and say like a little recap from 2023 you know, 2023 was a pretty good year. Um, I traveled, I lived, I really truly lived for the first time in a long time. Um, I did some intuitive eating. I went on a couple trips not tracking without taking my food. So, you know, that was a huge win for me. Um, looking back, you know, you shouldn't look back or have regrets, but to be honest with you, I really don't think I should have prepped in 2023. Um, I was in such a good spot in April, or not April, let me think, July when I started prep. Like, I was at a good physique. I was maintaining my weight. I was having two cheat meals a week. Um, I had gotten my period back. My health was all in check. My blood work was good. And then I decided to prep why i don't know you know i stayed pretty lean my off season it was a short off season so i didn't make any improvements in my physique um I i'll be real i didn't make any improvements in my physique um and i just wanted to compete because i know that i, I knew i wasn't going to be able to compete again for a few years um because of life and other things going on in my life um so it's like it's one of those things like i just got to do it one more time i just want to do it i just want to be fulfilled and you know like i was talking to my friend joey the other day at the gym and she was like if you wouldn't have done it though ashley you would have always been kind of sad that you didn't um and i i enjoy competing and i i had so much fun i had a blast backstage i made some new friends and um you know i don't regret that part but like now it's like uh my my hormones are in the trash the worst they've ever been actually um so that's interesting so yeah this week i just started dhea um to help get my test and estrogen back up my levels are still low they have come up from when i had my blood work checked 12 weeks ago um but still very very low i still don't have much energy i'm starting to lift a little bit heavier but not much I literally lost a lot of muscle, I feel like. I feel like I just lost all my muscle. I feel like I lost all the gains I had made in 2021 when I took a 17-month off-season and really built and put on some muscle. I feel like I lost all of that. So this is your sign that do not... If you plan on having a better physique, do not stay lean. Do not keep prepping. Blah, blah, blah. You guys know. Um, 
So yeah, I mean, the thing is, though, is I'm not competing um, this year, so it's okay. Like, I'll repair and I'll be fine. I, I know I'm not competing, so it's really okay. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter that I don't have a lot of muscle because I'm not stepping on stage. But <laughs> it sucks because I like that look. And now I just feel like I look like this little scrawny toothpick. I kind of look like... um a runner I feel like or like you know nothing against runners but I feel like one of these girls that just does a bunch of cardio and has no muscle and I hate that because I love lifting I lift hard and I lift every five six days a week um but yeah so my big goal for 2024 is just to get back to a good maintenance level put on some muscle even though I'm not stepping on stage but just for myself um and to feel better and get my hormones all in check um just get healthy you know I just want to be healthy I had another scare this past weekend with my heart um wasn't good I thought I was having a heart attack and oh uh, it was really scary to be honest with you um so it's like I just I really need to focus on my health right now and get my health back but um anyways I'm gonna end this rant here I promise to start YouTube in a little more and showing more live things um today is New Year's Day January 1st um so my goals right now or to just get in a really good consistent routine um because i've kind of been all over the place with my meals and having drinks and untracked meals which i still do want to live life but i really want to focus on my intake of my food and get that up and more consistent instead of all over the place so that way i can get my hormones back in check and everything and just kind of pay attention to what's going on um so yeah that's what's going on I, i'll talk a little more about this in my next youtube i just want to get a video out there for you guys because i haven't been posting my youtubes i went like i don't know almost two years regularly posting them without missing a beat and now i'm just like kind of like uh, i kind of feel like i've kind of just fallen off of um social media in a little bit too and just but it's good you know it's, sometimes it's good to just focus on life and not be so like oh i gotta get a youtube out i gotta make a post i gotta be liking and commenting on stuff and scrolling and for the first time in life I kind of took a step back from all that for a little bit and it's been nice so you need those little resets um looking like a bum right now it's cold here I need to wash my hair um yeah so thank you guys for listening to this little rant thank you for following me um I promise my next YouTube will be a little bit better and I will be a little more consistent like I was so love you guys like comment subscribe let me know uh, what's up.